Global warming is a natural process. The cycle of increasing and decreasing of greenhouse gases like CO2 has repeated many times in Earth's history. CO2 plus other chemicals in the atmosphere settle in a clear globe-like blanket around the Earth which allows some radiation from the Sun to bounce back to the planet's surface. This has the effect of warming the Earth, creating a habitable place for animals, birds and plants. It's called the greenhouse effect because it acts rather like a greenhouse. As greenhouse gas levels increase in the atmosphere, the planet gets warmer as more radiation bounces back. The ice caps at the poles melt, increasing sea levels which slowly cover lowland areas. As water covers land, this reduces the number of trees, plants and land animals. Greenhouse gas emissions start to fall at an increasing rate, so more radiation bounces back into space. The planet starts to cool, reducing plant and animal numbers even more. The ice caps at the poles start to recover and expand, drawing excess water to them, some of which is frozen. Areas of land start to reappear above sea level. Certain plant and animal species able to survive the extremes start to recover. CO2 levels start to increase and so the cycle continues. Our problem is that this cycle normally takes thousands of years. Through human activity alone we have hugely accelerated the process which will result in much quicker plant, bird, insect and animal, including human, extinction. By continuing our greed for wealth, we keep increasing emissions way above the levels they should be. Historically, forests and jungles have absorbed much of our excesses of CO2, but even those are being cleared by humans at a frightening rate. For just how frightening, see my other video, Reality Check, Mr. Beast's Team Trees.